Hey, this is Bonnie, and today we are transplanting tomato seedlings. Um, typically, when you transplant tomato seedlings or any of your nightshade plants, you want to go a little bit deeper each time. It's part of the hardening process. So, um, the way that nightshades work is they will develop roots anywhere that this, the stem is touching the soil. So, every time you plant them a little bit deeper, they produce more roots, which can which will produce a stronger plant, better crop, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, you're typically, here comes the Calvary. You are typically going to transplant them a few times um, if you start from seed before you actually plant them in the ground. So, this is our first time going from plug trays, which is where I typically start all of my seeds, and then up to these four by planters. Um, which, with any luck, will be how I will actually sell them. So, I start out, I use, um, this is actually a plant marker that's fairly stiff. So I dig in and get my seedlings out of here. You want to try to make sure that you get all of the root. See there? And this one, I actually had two seeds in that hole, so... I want to very carefully make sure that I separate them. Um, these stems are very, very fragile, and so you want to make sure that you handle them as little as possible. I try to handle them by the root ball. Um, I'm told that you can handle them by the leaves. However, I've had too many seedlings break off with the leaves and never recover, so I don't feel comfortable doing that. So I just stick my finger down pretty much as far as I can in the planter. Squish that down in the hole there. So I try, ideally, I try to get it so that only those leaves and very, very little stem are sticking up out of the soil. There's the cat. And these are, if you're wondering, um, these are black cherry seedlings. The other ones I've got over here are Amish paste. This is my first time doing the black cherries, however, cherry tomatoes tend to do really well in Florida. And I've had really good success in the past with Amish paste tomatoes, which is why I like to plant those as well. So you want to try to be very careful separating these so you don't damage too much of the roots. The beauty with tomatoes a lot of times you can just stick a stem in the ground and it'll root as long as you keep it moist. Um, when you're pruning your tomatoes you can even just take a sucker off the tomato plant, plant that in the ground and get a whole new tomato plant. All right so we will just keep going with these guys. I've got a lot of them so I'm not going to keep you for the whole thing. And hopefully I'll be able to do another video planting these guys in the ground in a few weeks.
So, continue as I've been doing. Um, but that's how I do my seedlings. Like I said, I try to get them as low in the soil as possible so that ideally they'll end up filling up this whole little tray with roots. Um, in terms of the soil that I use, I use an organic blend that also has some kelp meal in it because tomatoes do tend to be heavy feeders. They like a nice rich soil with lots of organic matter, compost. Um, a couple of your most common thing, common issues with tomatoes is magnesium and calcium deficiencies. So you want to try to start with the best soil you possibly can and go from there. Um, anyway, that's it for now. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.